Okay, so the first time I heard about oxidated stress, I really didn't believe it. Never heard of it. Um, first thought was, okay, this is just another thing for people to buy something to fix. Uh, but then I did some research on it. And, well, I Googled it first, but like anything you Google, um, well, you get 20,000 hits and you can't trust if uh, any of them are true or not. So there's one website that I went to called PubMed.gov. So and I'm going to read this so I don't, so I get it right. So it's a free resource developed and maintained by the National Center of Biotechnology Information at the National Library of Medicine. So you can pretty much guarantee that everything that is going to be on this site is going to be researched, back up, proofed, and then you can take it as, I don't know, as truth. So there's quite a bit of articles written about oxidative stress. And it, there's also a couple of things in there that can help you reduce oxidative stress. So check it out, pudmed.gov. Uh, do a search for oxidative stress. And there's going to be like 200,000 hits. So, I mean, I would just kind of glance through them and read the abstract of all the... Um, research articles that are there and then decide for yourself and then decide what you're going to do about it.